Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the what is on my iPhone 11 video. I have had my iPhone 11 for a couple months now and I still really, really love it. I have the purple edition. So you guys really enjoyed my iPhone video last year with my iPhone 8 or 9 or 10. I don't remember the last iPhone I had, but I did a video on that and you guys seem to really like it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPhone and then the like accessories and cases and things that I have for it, which is not too many, but I'll show you my AirPods case and things like that. If you have any questions for anything you see in this video, comment down below and I will try to answer it for you. But I am just gonna go ahead and switch the camera over to the phone and show you guys what is on my iPhone 11. All right guys to go ahead and get started. This is my iPhone 11. Like I said, I have the purple edition So this is the case I have on it right now And then here's the box that it came in. I have a whole video where I unboxed this So if you guys want to see it, I will put it down below and in the cards above But I still have my headphones and charger in there because I already had ones from my previous phone So I still have the box for this and I just really like the box I like how the letters are purple as well and then I'm going to show you just the cases and accessories I have for my iPhone first. I don't have very many like I did in my last video just because I haven't had my iPhone 11 that long so I haven't been able to buy too many cases for it. So the first case I had for it which you guys might have seen in my iPhone unboxing is I got this case from Five Below. It's just a clear case and like it has like a bumper of a bunch of different colors. This was a really nice sturdy case. It just wasn't really my aesthetic. I just had it for the time being just to keep my phone safe. So that's the one case I had and then I ordered this clear case from Amazon. If I can find the link for it, I'll put it down below. And I bought this little like phone holder thing. I have to have a phone holder on every single case that I own or I will drop my phone. So I ordered this, this cute like, I forgot what these are called, like boba tea things. And I also got this one. It came with a three pack of these so if I can find these I'll put them down below it's very sturdy it works great and I can use it as like a stand if I want to like hold my phone up and watch a video or something so that's my other case that I have and I got all of this from Amazon and then the accessory I use with my iPhone the most is of course my airpods and I wanted to show you guys the case that I have I have no face from spirited away because spirited away is like one of my all-time favorite movies so I got this from Amazon as well I'll put the link for it down below if I can find it but I'm absolutely obsessed with this case the only problem is if you don't kind of push the case up more towards the front the whole top of it would just fall open sometimes so I learned a trick to make sure it's leaning more forward than backward and then you can like hang it on something if you'd like but this is what I use the most I love my airpods I use them all the time and then this case I got from Amazon as well it's literally just a clear case I got it for Halloween and I just haven't taken it off yet here's what the phone looks like without the case on but it's just a clear case and then this is my all-time favorite grip that I have found I got it from Amazon as well and it goes like this and it kind of just locks into place and you can put your finger in it it's my favorite grip that I have ever bought and found online and I'm definitely going to try to buy some more of them. But I'm obsessed with this case. I get so many compliments on it and I think it's so witchy and cute. It's not very protective of the phone at all. It's cute. It's more of like a decorative case. And then I usually have a glass screen protector on the front, but my last one cracked very easily. So I ordered one in the mail. So I don't have a glass screen protector on it right now. Usually I always have a glass screen protector on my phone. So now that I went through all of my accessories and everything, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what is on the iPhone. All right. I kind of turned the lights down a little bit so you guys would be able to see the phone a little bit better. I like iPhone tours where it's actually, you know, showing the iPhone and it's not like a projection of the screen. I just think it's more realistic. So here's my home screen. It's just a picture of my dog when he was a widow widow puppy. He's still a puppy now, but he's not as little as he used to be. So this is one of my favorite pictures of him. So here is my wallpaper on my home screen and I have three pages of apps. It's very unorganized. I feel like it looks like a mess, but I know where everything is. This is just one of the basic Apple wallpapers that you can get. And I just like the way it looks. I think it's pretty. All right, to get started, with the top right here, you'll be able to see that little dot because it's on the camera, but this is my mail app. Not gonna show it. Um, here's my Twitter. If you guys wanna follow me, I'll have links for everything down below. But yeah, this is my Twitter and YouTube. I tweet a lot. I'm on Twitter like literally all the freaking time. Next, I have my Instagram, which is alyssa.nicole. 
YouTube and I just post a picture so you guys are <laughs> commenting on it. I love you guys. You're the best. So yeah, I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers and I'm almost there. Got about a thousand left. So if you guys would like to follow me, there's my Instagram. And then I have my YouTube studio app. This is where I read all my com comments, look at my analytics, look at how the views are doing on my recent videos and things like that. I use this app every single day. A lot of these apps on my first page are ones that I use the most. Then I have my YouTube app, of course, because I'm on YouTube all the time. And then for my first folder, I have my K-pop folder. So in this folder, I have a lot of K-pop. So I have BTS World. I haven't played a lot of these in a very long time, but I have BTS World. Superstar BTS, which is like a music game. It's actually pretty fun. Then I have V Live. It's basically an app where you can watch Korean like pop stars go live and they just talk with their fans and stuff. Weply, which is where BTS and TXT and all them sell their merch. It's basically like their merch site. And then the BTS official Lightstick app. Basically, when I'm at the concert, which I'm going to see them in May, I bought tickets for their concert in Atlanta and I'm so excited. But their light stick for the concert hooks to this app and you can change the color of the light stick. And then I have Lingo Deer because I was trying to learn Korean a little bit and it's a pretty good app to learn different languages. So I just have that on there in this K-pop folder. Next, I have my finance. This AdSense app is where I keep track of my YouTube payments because that is where it tells me what I'm getting paid for that month. Wells Fargo is my bank, Credit Karma, gotta check your credit score when you're an adult, unfortunately. PayPal, Discover, Venmo if people need to send me things, and then ADP is just what I use for work. And then the wallet app. And this is basically where I just keep track of like my money apps. And I have my bills app because I'm an adult and I have to pay my bills now. <laughs> Not all of these are technically bills. Um, I have my CVS Caremark thing, which I don't even use CVS anymore because they're trash. This keeps track of how much data and stuff I'm using on my internet. And then this is my AT&T app where I pay my internet bill. Greystone is where I pay my power and electricity bill for my apartment. Ring is what I use for my security system and my security camera outside my apartment. I have Verizon, so this is where I pay my phone bill. And then these two apps right here are cameras. So this one is another outside security camera I have that I can watch live from. And then this one's a camera, my pet camera that I have in my house that I can watch the cats and dog when I'm not home. And then Geico is where I pay my car insurance. So that's all in this folder. Then I have my food folder. I use these a lot because I love food. So I use Papa John's the most because I order a lot of pizza. And then I just have Walmart on here as well. You could see the apps that I use the most. I just get points and stuff with them. Then I have my reading app. This is one that I use a lot as well, especially Goodreads. This is Apple Books. Then I have Wattpad, which I haven't actually used in a very long time. Wattpad used to be my life and I just haven't used it lately. Goodreads is where I keep track of all of my reading. And basically, if you guys wanna add me, you can. I have a few friends on here. Here I am. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link for it down below, but basically you can just keep track of all the books that you're reading. So far I've read five out of my 75 book goal, and you can just track what books you want to read and things like that. So these are the books that I've recently read this year so far. And you can like add friends and you can see what they're reading and stuff as well. So if you like reading, this will good, is a good app for you. Then I have my Kindle app. I don't even know what books I have on here. This isn't my reading channel. Oh, I'm not even logged in. Okay. Then Audible where I listen to audiobooks. Scribd is where I listen to audiobooks as well. Webtoon is a really cool like comic book app. Has like webtoons, not logged into there as well, awesome. And then Libby is where you can basically rent books from your local library on here. So if you use the library a lot, that's a good app for you to check out. And I have my shopping app. I use this a lot, especially Amazon. So I got eBay, Mercari is an amazing app for especially buying Literally anything, I have used this app for a very, very long time. As you can see, I have 98 reviews. I've sold almost 100 things, I feel like, on here. But this is where I like to buy, like, Nintendo items, games, books, things like that is what I like to buy on this app, and it's really great. Then I have Amazon, Wish, of course, Poshmark, which I like to buy uh, used clothes on because it's pretty decently priced, and I had got a lot of... American Eagle jeans the other day for a really good price. Depop I don't use as much, but I have bought a couple clothing items on there. Pinterest is my life. I use Pinterest all the time. And then this is where I order my groceries because I do the online pickup at Walmart because that's where my sister works. So she just brings me my groceries and I just order them from the app. <laughs> then I have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp because I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing, as many of you may know. And I've been playing this nonstop for days, waiting for New Horizons to come out next month. 
and I'm going to show you guys my ID in case any of you want to add me on Pocket Camp. I will add any of you. So here I am. I'm on level 28, which is like not a lot compared to most of my friends on here. <laughs> so here is my ID right here. If any of you guys would like to add me on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I will accept any friend requests that I get. So there's my ID for you guys. It's one of my favorite apps to play right now. And that is it for the home screen. Other than down here, I have my messages, phone, Safari, and then my music app. I use um, Apple Music just because I get it free with Verizon and then I listen to Pandora sometimes and I have Spotify because I used to have Spotify Premium and I don't anymore. Now for the second page. So this is just kind of ones that I don't use as much or ones that I don't care about as much. I have my photos, camera, settings, and then my social media app. These are social medias that I don't use as much. Um, Facebook, of course, and then the Messenger, Tumblr, which I haven't been on in forever. My Gmail, Snapchat, Reddit, and TikTok. These are apps that I do use, just not as much as other apps. Then I have my photo editors. Um, Perfect365 and Pixar are the two photo editors I've used for a very long time. And then I have Bitmoji, and then this is the app that I use to connect my camera to my phone in case I want to transfer any photos or videos to my phone. I only have one game in my game app. It's Pit Cross. I am obsessed with Pit Cross. I have completed the first three puzzles of Pit Cross. Like this was one whole thing and I completed it through the years. Like every individual thing is a puzzle. Yeah, I have no life. Then I just have two period apps. Then I have my Etsy and my Etsy business app because I do have an Etsy shop. It's closed right now just because I haven't had time to really make any bookmarks for people. Then I have school, which I guess I could delete because I dropped out of college, <laughs> but Quizlet and GoodNotes. GoodNotes is an awesome app to take notes for anything that you have. Then here I just have two like Safari tabs saved of my two channels, um, my main channel and my reading channel. This was mainly when Social Blade could count your subscribers. And now since YouTube sucks, it doesn't count your subscribers anymore. So I guess there's not really a point to these, but then I have my Video streaming apps, I have Netflix, Prime Video, and Apple TV. And these are just, you know, the basic extra apps. I use my notes a lot in my maps. Then I have Google Maps, and in this folder I just have some random apps as well. And then I have Bond Touch, which is the app that I use for this bracelet that I got for Valentine's Day. Um, basically, me and my boyfriend both have a bracelet, and if we touch it, the other person can feel it and it just connects to this app. So I have that out like that. All right, that's the second one, and now for the third one. So I have just a bunch of random ones again. Um, don't really use any of these except for maybe the watch app. Another random folder full of Apple apps. AliExpress, which I could put in my shopping app. I don't know why it's all the way back here. And then this thing called Pet Parade that I used to play all the time, which I'm probably going to delete after this. Basically, you send it. It's like Tinder, but for your pets. Basically, you send in pictures of your pets, and then people, like, vote on who's the cutest, and then you get, like, rewards and stuff. And you can also get, like, stickers and things sent in the mail if, you, if your pet gets enough, like, points. It's actually kind of cute, but... I haven't played it lately. So that was the what is on my iPhone 11 video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't too exciting or anything, but I like seeing what's on other people's phones. It gives me an idea of some apps that I can try myself. If you want any other Apple videos, then comment down below, like maybe what's on my iPad or you know my Apple accessories video or something like that, whatever you want, and then just comment down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.